Meanwhile, at the League of Villains bar. These two. I can already tell they're exactly the kind of trash I hate. A judgmental much? And a guy with no manners. Pot and, and kettle, etc. Like him or not, you still owe me a finder's fee in cash. A villain broker. I suppose I Interesting could profession. The two of them before I go. This one looks like an adorable high school girl, right? Nope. Nope. <laughs> she doesn't. Toga here. Himiko Toga. Himiko Toga. I want to be Mr. Stainy. I want to kill Mr. Stainy. Oh, God. Come on, handyman. You gotta be kidding me. Is she crazy? Well, she can hold a conversation. Can she, though? <laughs> Is your group really dedicated to the hero killer's mission? Oh, my I God. I can imagine you are if you're gonna let this little psycho join you. I can just imagine this devolving real quick into, like, everyone going out of their way to constantly assert that they're the most committed to the cause. That's how a lot of ideology-based groups are. Spiritual groups, political groups. It's always like, who's the most holy? Who's the most committed? Who's the most accomplished? They're all just posers, though. I'm the one who's the most committed. <laughs> I'm the one who's the most dedicated, the most accomplished. All these other people, they don't know what the hell they're doing. Do you even understand Stain's philosophy? I'm so committed to Stain's cause, Stain himself is not pure enough. She may be a psycho, but at least she knows how to introduce herself to people. Don't just What is this bickering? What's your name? Right now, I'm going by Dobby. The house elf? <laughs> it wasn't what I asked you, Patchwork. Why are they all so Jeez, awkward? Why is everyone so hung up on Stain? He's all I ever hear about. Uh-oh. Someone's jealous. <laughs> You're getting along great. Listen to me. If you think you have any hope of beating a crew like Deku, Ida, Todoroki, you got another thing coming. You got to be a lot more unified than this. Do you even know Class 1A? Do you know what Class 1A has been through? Literally everything. They have been through everything. You do not stand a chance like this. I'm not even rooting for them. <laughs> Just as someone who likes group cohesion, you know, this is not it. But you never know. Maybe they're, they'll come to appreciate each other through their differences, united in a common goal. The villains can grow too, I guess. The villains are more high school students than the actual high school students, it seems. He's been humbled twice very recently. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he will bring you an answer. One that will satisfy both of you, as well as his own desires. Yeah, Shigaraki's been set up as this, as this kid or guy having all this potential, but that assessment seems right. He is immature. I mean, obviously. Like, he's very, very child childish and emotionally stunted. This is weird to say, but maybe this is partly what the show's even getting at. The villains have a lot to learn from the heroes. Like, there's certain attributes that the students have that are gonna make them win every time especially right now. Maybe I'm reading into it too much, but they're almost framed like underdogs. You know what I mean? It's like they, they just have no no shot like this at all. Look at their behavior. They're bickering and Shigaraki storming out versus class 1A's behavior where everything they do brings them closer together and makes them stronger. And they have this unwavering commitment. You know what I mean? That's not it. This is not it. I'm looking forward to hearing all your stories of how fun camp was. Maybe they'll end up letting you go. Oh no, they can't go to camp because they lost the thing. Oh no, that's right. I'm not sure I'll get to go either. Our team only passed thanks to Mineta. I got knocked out. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't let him hear that. Once the bell rings, you should be in your seats. Damn, that's presence. So when it comes to the training camp in the woods, everyone is going. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> We really get to go to camp? That's kind of awesome. For the practical battles, the teachers made sure to leave a way for the students to win. Otherwise, you never would have stood a chance. Damn, that's what it damaged my enthusiasm. I mean, it makes sense though. Like, like I said previously, you don't want to make an exam that is designed for the students to fail. You know, that doesn't make any sense. Exams are sort of a weird thing in general when you think about it, because the exam itself doesn't usually teach you anything. Exams only work towards educational purposes when you review the mistakes you made or get feedback. Really what the exams provide towards education is motivating people to learn things on their own through fear of failure, which is kind of bizarre when you think about it, because shouldn't the goal be to learn the thing? Shouldn't that in itself be be the you know the benefit but anyway in that sense you want to make clear parameters for what passing means like what do you need to know in order to pass and then design it so that if the students do certain things then they pass and the clearer that is and the more focused it is the more beneficial it can work in that way but it sort of takes the wind out of my sails because i really enjoyed the fact that the students were like you know holding their own through the power of friendship <laughs> Oh well, I mean they still did great though. They weren't easy exams. Those who failed need those lessons the most. We were never going to separate you. Man, I just love you, Aizawa. I love I love you so much. <laughs> so focused on what's important. What the hell does it matter, you know, if they didn't get the grade? He always has a North Star, which is giving the students what they need. My respect for him just keeps growing. That was just that a smile. logical deception we used. A logical deception? 
He tricked us all! I should have expected this! Mr. Aizawa, this is the second time you've lied to us! Aren't you afraid we'll lose faith in you? Uh, a little blunt there, Tenya. Have you met Tenya Ida? Guess I need to buy some stuff. It's like night vision goggles! Guys, since we're off oh, tomorrow no. and we finally finished exams, I have the best idea! Why does it class 1A go shopping together? This just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Why do I get so excited for their mundane activities? I don't know. Don't you ever get tired of being so serious? The song is uh, gonna give me copyright problems in this segment. Got a ton of different stores to shop at and they're all super cool and hip. Which one are we going to first? <laughs> What's the first mundane activity we're doing? Whoa, are those UA students? 1A! Wow, they're like legit celebrities. Let's see, where can I get a lock picking kid in a small drill? No, 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 no. We can meet here again when we're done. Great idea! Perfect, let's say This is the most epic. Three. It's not even a shopping montage. It's like a shopping discussion montage. Yet, I love it anyway. I mostly just need bug spray. Is it because you like him? Yep. Gotta keep those pests away! You mean me? Way to misread that situation, Deku. We came here as a class, but here I am, by myself. I mean, he's popular enough already. It's fine. I want an autograph. Oh no. Oh no. Got beat to hell at the sports festival, right? Uh, yeah. Wow, you are so amazing. His hand is making me really uncomfortable uncomfortable right now. Run, Deku. Run. What can I say? I'm just a big fan of yours. Is his face? I'm running into. He can do that? This feels like it's destiny. What's he getting at? Why don't we There he is. I'm catching up. Isuku Midori. He looks all right. Tomura. Shigaraki. Encounter. That was a long intro. I thought he'd be hideously ugly, but he's not bad. What exactly does he want from Deku? He could have just finished him off right there, but... Just wait, hero killer. These people think they're safe, like nothing can harm them. I don't know if they're naive or just ignorant. People are getting killed somewhere at this very moment, but these idiots keep smiling, like they don't have a care in the world. Stain really had an impact on him. Yeah, something got in. In the end, you destroy things you hate just like I do. So what gives? Interesting. He's like, introspective. He's learning. <laughs> Speaking of hero growth, or villain growth. Whoops. But just look at these sheep. Any one of them could use their quirks and start a massacre whenever they wanted. And yet they're all here, smiling. They think laws and rules will protect them because they assume everyone has their same morals. This is interesting. Let's go grab a seat and get comfortable, why don't we? So I'm not exactly sure what he's getting at with the whole sheep thing and anything bad can happen at any moment. But a couple of ideas come to mind that actually I think are kind of relatable and I feel like a lot of people cross at one point. One is an idea that is sort of cynical but I think true on some level where although most people are generally good in action, it's rare that we're seeing people operating at their true potential for evil because they're being kept in check by others. So because people don't do bad things doesn't necessarily mean they're good. It's probably the case that a large factor in people's motivations for not doing things that will get them in trouble is just not wanting to get in trouble, if that makes sense. And we've all had moments where we've seen that, I think, where like suddenly a light is cast on someone else and we see their their shadow, so to speak, you know? You can sometimes see people realize they can get away with something and fully take advantage of that with seemingly no remorse. And we've probably also seen it in ourselves, you know? So that can be sort of a scary thing. It can be a little bit disheartening. And another thing, and I think maybe closer to what he's saying, I know the feeling of identifying with a cause, right? And suddenly having an insight or what you feel is an insight into the world and you think other people don't get it and that can be frustrating. And you end up coming away with sort of like disgust for others for not seeing it as clearly as you do, which for Shigaraki might be something like you don't see the potential for chaos. You don't see all the evil that exists in everyone or something like that, right? But I can't help but feel like part of that instinct to that way is not actually about caring about a cause but about wanting to get recognition for for being connected to that cause or for being quote unquote enlightened about it and feeling invalidated by the world for what you feel is an attribute, a positive attribute, which funnily enough makes you sort of common in that way, right? Like everyone's motivated by that. Most people are seeking approval in one way or the other, right? And also just thinking very, very openly about it. I also think it's unrealistic and unreasonable to expect everyone to care about not only everything, but to care about the same things. Life is so endlessly complex. It makes sense that people are focused not on some abstract issue that they can learn about or read about, but on their own daily realities, you know, their relationships, their jobs, their romantic partnerships, 
relationships, right? Like not everyone can do all those things and be an expert at everything simultaneously. Just thinking in terms of division of labor, right? It's very difficult to be good at one thing, let alone all things. And we actually benefit collectively from people specializing in things. You know, it's good that we have this person excellent at this and this person excellent at that. And so it's not required and maybe even harmful to have everyone care about all the same things at the same time, if that makes sense. But it's kind of cool because I feel like, although I don't fully know his philosophy yet, I feel like there could be a lot to it. And also, it still feels like it's growing. There's something he needs to learn from Stain that I think he's working out for himself right now. You never know, this could turn out to it be a nice, uh, nice little date. Deku everything. was feeling lonely a moment ago. The hero killer pisses me off the most. <laughs> I was just venting about Stain. <laughs> Does he want advice from Deku? And that's what my problem is. It's like suddenly everyone is obsessed with that stupid hero killer. I feel like Deku would be happy to talk to him if he just took his hand off his neck. Deku is so nice. <laughs> like, Deku is the kind of kid who would talk it out, right? No one's even giving me a second thought. Why is that? Yeah, he really does want attention, positive regard. What do you think the difference is between us, Midoriya? I think it would be a mistake if he tries to copy Stain. It would make more sense as if he tries to, like, become more clear in his ideals and dedicated. Just go talk to him. All alone. No big deal. I actually feel like he's okay right now. It's not like I want to spend all day shopping with him or anything weird. I mean, sure, I think he's amazing. Oh no, she's all up in her own head. so hard to be a hero. This is when you've lost. When you start thinking like this and going in circles, it's you're in too deep already. I think there's a strong correlation between, like, who's having these thoughts more in the relationship and, like, who's going to fall harder in the relationship. If you're in her shoes, you're spending all this time second-guessing yourself while the other person is, you know, just living their life, getting threatened by villains, etc. What's the difference? I don't understand you. Your goals. Right, right. Yeah. I don't agree with the hero killer either, but I can understand him. Exactly. And you can respect certain things about him, weirdly. He's a maniac. But he doesn't destroy things just because it sounds fun. I like how Deku's t-shirt says t-shirt. He didn't abandon his mission like you did. Ooh. Deku's <laughs> really beliefs. twisting the knife. <laughs> it's kind of great. <sighs> he got the answer he wanted. See it now. Yeah, yeah. The truth feels good like that sometimes. The problem is all might. Oh, was that the right takeaway? Well, Rome wasn't built in a day. He's why these morons are able to smile thoughtlessly. They feel so safe because that garbage pro is smiling thoughtlessly too. Is that a memory? What happened to him? I can't thank you enough, Midoriya. Does he feel let down by society? By the world? Or by All Might? You know, it's really ironic, Hero Killer. I'm your opposite, but you let me live. <laughs> and now your ideals and convictions will become a stepping stone for me. Uh, Deku? They're getting to know each other, little by little. I feel like Shigaraki actually likes Deku now. Sorry about that. If you try following me, I'll get angry. Am I, like, reading too much into it? I feel like there was something like loneliness there. He had his hands on, on Deku's neck, but it was clear he wasn't going to do anything. And not just because Deku was the protagonist. Weirdly, it felt like he needed an ear and actually really wanted Deku's advice. And I think proof of that is that he was so open to listening to what Deku said, even though the conclusion he reached is sort of bizarre. I think he's in a state that actually is a good state. I feel like when you start to have doubts, you start to fall and your first instinct is like grab hold of things that reassure you. Like, no, I'm, I'm great the way I am and everything's fine. Everything's perfect. It's not me. It's, it's the world or it's them. But then you keep falling. You fall far enough down. Those things you're trying to grab onto you don't support the weight of your, you know, your downward spiral. You get to a point where actually you're open to just hearing the truth. You end up looking for anything that will serve as a foundation you could start to build back up on. And so Stain, weirdly, was great for Shigaraki. He was asking himself the right questions and was falling enough that he's able to listen. He's actually looking for, for answers. And what Deku said is, I think, exactly right about why Stain would be memorable to society, but he would not be. And actually, I would argue it's because on some level, Stain has certain qualities that are heroic, such as his conviction, his passion, his ability to self-sacrifice. Shigaraki is sort of childish in comparison and feels like he's playing around or lashing out and having temper tantrums. What he needs is something to be connected to, and it's not All Might necessarily. It's really weird that I kind of want to see Shigaraki grow, just in the sense that I like seeing people grow, you know what I mean? But anyway, although that scene was hostile, it didn't feel hostile in some ways. Hold on, Shigaraki! <gasps> Shigaraki? That's right. Hans McGee himself. I have a question too. What is all for one after? Who knows, really? So he knows. The next time we meet, I'll likely have to kill you. 
Can Shigaraki be converted, I wonder? Is this a parallel hero journey? <laughs> That'd be cool. Now I know what I'm working toward. To create a world without All Might. And to prove how fragile society's sense of safety really is. What's his attachment to proving the fragility of societal safety? Everything is All Might's fault. Yeah, that's reasonable. Uraraka reported the incident, and the shopping mall was temporarily closed. So much for our fun shopping day. You did a great job holding it together when so many lives were on the line. Most people and he, he and spoke honestly, in that situation. which took a lot of guts. Not that it helped, really. Do you ever have times when you can't save all the people that you want to? Yes, I do. Yeah. I know it's frustrating, but we're only human. It's nice to hear that's all the more him have a moment of like... Tall and smile. <laughs> so that the symbol of justice is always there. I was gonna say humility and realistic expectations, but then of course he turned it into something beautiful as he as he does, you know. All might here has never failed to save someone after arriving at an emergency. Wow. I think we've got everything we need, so you're good. We're all done here. Was Deku asking that because he wants to save Shigaraki? I think that for the good of the students, you should consider leaving UA All Might. <clears throat> I've just gotten started. I mean, it's only been three months of teaching. Maybe you could do some more beach training. Instead, free up some time. The entrance exam to the fitness test. Combat training. The League of Villains attack. <laughs> a sports festival. Yeah, yeah. It's been a lot. The Hosu incident. Yeah. And finally, our exams. Yep. A lot has happened. Oh, our yeah. First semester. At <laughs> first semester. <laughs> Cracks me up. That doesn't mean we can just ignore our training. Yep. There's the beach right there. You can go there. <laughs> We have to keep hey, someone's doing course. it. Yes, is that Deku beach training? Hell yeah. It's missing All Might, but you know, it'll have to do for now. Just give me the beach training that you can give me for now. Look at this. Are they, are they beach training? Hell yeah. I didn't know I'd get my wish this soon. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for that, that little beach training snapshot. I, I appreciate you, my hero academia. <laughs> Oh, there's more. You seem oddly happy today, Master. I'm preparing for him to become the next me. My successor. Oh. Okay. I was wondering what all the focus on Shigaraki was. Well, that was a very interesting episode. It was kind of both an epilogue for season two and a prologue for season three, it feels to me. It's development for Shigaraki, which is kind of interesting, kind of cool. There's always focus on hero growth, right? But villain growth is interesting as well. I wonder if maybe they're not setting up for Shigaraki to to be quote unquote saved. That's my guess as to why Deku was asking other people you can't save, although it could have other meanings as well. So yeah, that's the end of season two and what a season it's been. As Deku alluded to, so much happened. It's just one thing to another. How many arcs were there that, that season? One thing it did incredibly well is an arc ends and you think, okay, well now we're gonna like reset and build up another arc, but, but no, the new arc picks up right where that one is and improves on it. So nothing feels wasted. And through it all, you have this really great character exploration, especially for Todoroki, I feel this season. He's one of the people that resonated with me the most. The idea of putting down your the images you have of like your family, feeling like a victim and realizing that your your parents are flawed and that you get to choose how you act and that you actually can, with the right amount of perspective and maturity, actually learn from them and be the one to make amends if it's possible on the other side. That's an incredibly adult thing. It's adult plus ultra. I think the easier path to fall into is just digging really deep into those grudges. The fact that Todoroki can go from feeling the way he felt about Endeavor to being able to stomach interning with him, to me, is pretty incredible and inspiring. I also love Ida's journey, and I love the the trio, the Ida, Todoroki, Deku trio. While I think I wasn't into Stain quite as much as maybe some other fans were, I do really like how significant he's becoming in terms of his conviction playing a role and starting this whole new villain movement, it seems, which is kind of interesting because here in this show so far, we're sort of starting in a place of peace and then you get the feeling that actually it's it's gonna start to break down and disintegrate rapidly at like the worst possible time because All Might's fading out of power. So it's really cool stuff. There's a lot that can be done with season three. But yeah, so that's the end of season two. Thank you to everybody for, for following the series. Before we start season three, although this is a little bit controversial because I hear there's a character spoiler, next will be the movie, Two Heroes, which might be in two parts just because of editing time. <laughs> <laughs>